Hey yo, hey everyone, Andrew here bringing you another video review and today we're going to be doing Showcase Presents Justice League of America. Now this is a four volume Showcase Presents series so far. They might make another volume, I don't know. Usually Showcase Presents caps off at four volumes or around the 1970 issue era, but who knows, there might be more. And in this series is volume one. Take a look at that right here. Volume two. Look at that. Volume 3. And this is going to come out of nowhere. You're never going to see this coming. This is going to be a complete, utter surprise to you. Volume 4. Who didn't see that coming? Take a look at that. Now I'm going to move some of these over to the side. But I'm going to use one for uh, so that you guys can look at it and have something to stare at. Something pretty. The Justice League. Now, these volumes consist of Brave and the Bold, issues number 28 to 30, Justice League of America, issues number 1 through 83, yes, 1 through 83, and Mystery in Space, issues number 75. Okay. Anyways, with that said, there's a lot of Justice League stories in this. And, these are also the beginning of the Justice League, the first Justice League story, the origin of the team, and how it grows throughout its time. Now, there's a lot of teams out there that I love. The Teen Titans in particular, I'm absolutely in love with. I think the Outsiders are awesome. Very underrated team and really should get more credit than they deserve. The Justice Society of America, really, really cool. The Doom Patrol, awesome. However, my favorite team of all time in comic books would have to be the Justice League of America. This is no secret. I've stated this multiple times beforehand. I love the Justice League of America. I love its team members, in particular the original seven founding members, which consisted of Bruce Wayne Batman, Clark Kent Superman, Diana Wonder Woman, Arthur Curry Aquaman, John Jones the Martian Manhunter, Hal Jordan the Green Lantern, and Barry Allen the Flash. These were my favorite members of the Justice League and my favorite version of the team. I long for the day until we get that team again. Now, the closest we've got was Grant Morrison's Justice League team, but we didn't have Barry or Hal in there, so... Which isn't a bad thing, but I really love the original team. Don't get me wrong, I like all the other teams out there, and I like all the other members, but the original team was my favorite. Now, we're not actually talking about my favorite Justice League team here. We're going to talk about the showcase for the series. This is the start of the Justice League. Here you get the first introduction of the Justice League, the first team-up, their formation, and their earliest stories starting off in their little home base in the Rhode Island area and growing all the way up into the satellite years. We get the Silver Age Master Gardner Fox really writing the earliest stories and mostly volumes 1 through 3 and then Dennis O'Neill jumps in for the latest stories in volume 4 transitioning the Justice League from its Silver Age ca uh, campiness into a much more serious team and also have a big roster change. Throughout these volumes you'll also, in addition to the original seven members, get Green Arrow, the first new member to the Justice League. Adam, Hawkman, Black Canary, Metamorpho as kind of a sideline member, and we also get Red Tornado in the team, too. So you get a lot of the uh, new members in this uh, series are also. Now, these, uh, these comics start around 1965, and the series runs through this volume, the Showcase Presents series, runs through around 1970. 1971, around that area. And again, like I said, you're going to see a lot of change through it. In the very beginning, you're going to get the very traditional, campy, Silver Age feel. So if you're not a fan of Silver Age, then you're probably not going to like the earlier stories. However, if you, you're okay with Silver Age, if you can tolerate it, or if you can even enjoy it, then you're going to really enjoy these stories. Because in my opinion, next to the Batman stories, these are some of the best Silver Age stories out there. They really have a great feel to them. And the enemies in here are just awesome. Whether if it's from Amazo to Dark Delight, from Dark to Destiny to Dark to Tomorrow, anyone in here, these are great villains too. You, you know, you're going to get a lot out of this series. Now, like I said, for the first three volumes, we get to see a lot of the Silver Age feel to it. Because Gardner Fox, the Silver Age master, was the writer. Eventually, he leaves the team and Dennis O'Neill joins on. We see Wonder Woman and Martian Manhunter kind of leave the team. Aquaman just suddenly disappear with no explanation. And instead we get uh, a team consisting of more of Hawkman, Adam, Green Arrow, Superman, Batman, and Black Canary. With Red Tornado jumping in every once in a while. 
In addition to that, you also get to see the change from the tone from being Silver Age campy to more seriousness, the art style from going from the traditional Silver Age to more Bronze Age, most notably with the uh, Green Arrow costume doing the Dennis O'Neill kind of costume, and uh, Green Lantern getting his shoulder, um, his green shoulder pad accessory area thingy, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you get to see multiple changes throughout the characters. So, in addition to the Silver Age campiness, you also get more of a Bronze Age modern uh, seriousness to it, too. So there's a little bit of everything for everyone. Uh, like I said, these are the earliest stories for the Justice League of America. And the Justice League origin has been retconned a few times. However, the original stories are pretty much exactly how the Justice League met. Obviously, it needs to be updated, but if you read the Lightning Saga, many of the stuff that happens in this really is the beginning of the Justice League. So Justice League Year One really doesn't count anymore. Uh, these are very fun stories. I really, really enjoyed these. I can't really say there's too much bad about these, except for not being in color. Like I said, if you're not a Silver Age fan, then you're probably not going to like these right off the bat. But if you're a Justice League fan, or if you're just fans of comics in general, you're definitely going to enjoy these. They're fun. Uh, they're really, really well written. I guess one complaint I could say about them is the fact that every single villain happens to have yellow on them. Somehow they have kryptonite, magic, or fire. Because, you know, I got the Martian Manhunter. Oh no, fire! Every issue. Superman. Oh no, magic and kryptonite. Every issue. And then Green Lantern. Ah, oh, damn it. The guy's wearing yellow. Green Lantern even says in the comic at one point, saying, when are we going to fight a villain that doesn't have yellow on them? But, on the whole, these stories are absolutely fun. Very little to complain about them, and I would recommend picking them up, at least Volume 1. Um, however, I would pick up the whole entire series. Uh, volume 1, 2, and 4, I would say, are the best, with Volume 3 probably being the one that drags on the most. Um, but besides that, uh, you really get a great Justice League experience here. Like I said, you start off with the origin of Justice League in the cave, with Gardner Fox doing the original Seven, with uh, Green Arrow, Adam, and Hawkman joining in. And then you see Dren Dennis O'Neill's transition, the leaving of uh, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, and Martian Manhunter, the satellite years going up to the satellite headquarters, and the introduction of Black Canary as a character, too. So you really get to see a lot of transitions. This is a fun comic series. If you get anything from the Showcase for that series, out of all of them, I would recommend the Justice League most. Even though I've enjoyed the Batman series most, I probably could say that because I'm more of a Batman fan. So I am playing a little bit favorites or bias on that. But, putting all that aside, I would say the Justice League series is something that you should pick up. These are really fun. You really will enjoy these. So with that said, I'm going to end this review here. This is Andrew saying peace out for now.